Center in downtown Houston. FSN Houston presents Rockets Basketball. And tonight, the Rockets taking on the Portland Trailblazers. One of the best athletes at the power forward position. Time for the Toyota keys to the game. Well, the Rockets have got to get back in transition defense. They got to get it to Yao early and often. And they got to dominate the defensive boards because this team is very athletic. For the Houston Rockets, it'll be Shane Battier, Louis Scully, Al Ming, Tracy McGrady, and Rafer Alston. So the Rockets have won six games in a row, going for lucky number seven here tonight. But Portland won 13 in a row back in December. Rockets will have a tough one against the Portland Trailblazers coming up next. Job move for him. Very good job, Booth. I think Nate McMillan is one of the premier coaches in the league. He's doing a wonderful job with this young Trailblazer team. When they get the big boy back next year, Greg Oden, Nate is going to be one happy man. Looks like he's in a rush. Oh, no, he's smooth as butter. Yeah, he really is. Gets it done. He's a this, uh, really this deceptively quick and uh, great athlete, really. And deserves his all-star appearance. Check the high shake baseline. And you can't stop that. Nope. He's fixing him up. And so there'll be a 30-second timeout here while Yao. And it looks like uh, Yao's elbow's bleeding because he caught it on the tooth of Joel Prisbilla. So apparently Yao's elbow found the mouth of Joel Prisbilla. If you're going to get the short end of that, I'd rather have my elbow bleeding. I think it rolled quite often for Brandon Roy so he can create off the dribble. Again, and the rebound, Scola. Yao moving. Has it inside. Aldridge has got him. Yao with the jump ball, too. The great wall. Deflection. And the steal. And the Roy floats it inside. Missed it. Yao is there to make him change the shot. Over UT star. So we've seen a lot of him. Yeah, we had the, some good scoring uh, and shooting in this game to start out with. The Rockets are 7 of 11 for 64%. They've assisted on five of their seven baskets. And Portland, 46. So Chuck Hayes and Carl Landry will check out of the game. And a timeout charge to the Rockets, six and a half. Left to play here in the second quarter. 36-29, Trailblazers leading, six and a half left. That will be Wednesday night. Coverage starts at 7 o'clock with our pregame show. And don't let that record. One of those young athletic guys, six nine, just elevates over the top of the defender. Look at the Alme, Chris Bella right behind him. Now a turn, Shanghai shake baseline. Great patience by Yao Ming. I'm sure you'd like to have that one back. Mm -hmm. Scola gets it up to Brooks. Picked up by Aldridge. This match somewhere. Yao down the baseline. Fouled by Prisbilla again. And that's number two. Two quick fouls on Joel Prisbilla. Hey, Bill and Clyde, that play we just saw, the Rockets ran twice in a row. Yao was able to score on it the previous possession. The Rockets came right back to it. Now, in the first quarter, the, the Blazers were doubling Yao from the baseline. This time, they're looking to come from the top, and that's what's giving Yao that baseline move. And Yao's doing a wonderful job, man, of looking at the defense, checking them, taking advantage of behind. Some of that this summer. The first thing you do when you catch the ball in the post is you take a look and see where that defense is coming from. As the old guy, Lewis, trainer thought of training the big man, check the defense. Fonzie with the rebound. Yao came out a little bit on him that time. Four-point game. Fonzie to Yao. Aldridge now has Yao me. Aaron Brooks gives it right back to him again. Jump hook, big slide. That's some more of that CD stuff. More CD stuff. Yeah, that's right, man. Tracy McGrady will check back in for the final 2.09 of the quarter. And Fonzie Wells will go late. And that leaves this guy wide open. And he's a pretty good shooter from out there. Aldridge has taken 14 shots. He's made seven for 14 points. 
Scola to the middle. All the way, won't go. Yao with the rebound, holds it high and puts it back in. Yao Ming with 11 points. 43-41 Blazers. Walk right back to it. I think it goes. Oh, it just went in and came out. Can't do anything but grab it. Yeah, number 11 in scoring in the NBA, number eight in rebounding, and number eight in block shots. Shooters as Ray LaFrenz will come in, and that'll pull Yao out even farther because LaFrenz has good three-point oh, range. Rockets ended the quarter on a 15 to six run. Got it on the other side has been Marcus Aldridge, but Yao has been steady. Yao is very steady. Five for seven, 12 points. He's been really unstoppable. The Rockets have got to find a way in the second half to get him more touches. We'll be back with that quarter in just a moment, right here on FSN Houston. Well, we welcome you back here at halftime. And Clyde, what's the Chili's essential ingredients for the second half of tonight's game? Well, first of all, to the rebound. We had Prince of Miller hanging on this. Yeah, that's right. He's wide open. They're, they're choosing to double off of him. Wait, giving it up to Chris Villa. Back in. So Stola naturally had tall on Yao. Yao Ming. has got to shoot that. Yao thought he would. I know. The big guy, 6'11, kicked the ball, lands on the ball, and falls down. <laughs> That's pretty tough. <laughs> That's hard to do. Good dexterity. <laughs> Brady's picked up by Chris Miller. Down to Yao, he's got a mismatch. And he's fouled. Good, good, smart player. Tracy McGrady, as soon as he saw that switch, he got the ball right down to Yao. Yao's upset he missed it. He delivered that ball quickly, precisely, high, and Yao got exactly the shot he wanted, just couldn't get it to go down. But he did get the foul. Carl Landry preparing to check in for the Rockets. Now, now Landry will come in. Landry will stay in with the first team. Rockets are 10 of 13 for 77 percent, 2 of 7 for the Blazers for 29 percent. There it is, the high pick and roll with Fry. Trying to get the ball to Brandon Roy. Boy, Batty A is staying with him all the way. Roy just having a difficult time as Chris Miller with a loose ball foul. Well, Battier, as you said, doing a wonderful job defensively against Brandon Roy. And once he got picked, wasn't it a good job by Landry to pick, him, pick Brandon Roy up? Uh, it, it usually takes great team defense to stop a magnificent player. But Roy has only shot the ball nine times. Three of nine, eight points so far in the ball game. So with a 15 foul for the Blazers, both teams are in the penalty here in the final 112. And the all two more. Turnovers down pretty well under a minute left to play in the quarter. Came back. And a holding foul inside as Yao took off after the pick and roll. He was grabbed. Well, that's a new wrinkle by Rick Adelman and the Rockets. Yao's been setting that little high pick and roll, but that time he left early. He, he slipped it. And so the defense wasn't ready, so they had to hold. Otherwise, Yao gets an uncontested dunk at the basket. Channing Fry got a lot of jersey. <laughs> Jimmy Clark says, I've seen that before. 
He was in great position to see exactly what Pride did. If you're going to do that, at least try to hide it if you're Pride. The Owls, uh, six in a row. You would see. On the run. That Hold on to it. Well, the Rockets outscore Portland 25 to 19. Cleveland is number one. So you can't count the Blazers out, even though the Rockets have. How about that job Carl Landry did one on one with the point guard? Wonderful job. The Rockets were switching everything. Landry ended up with Jack and did a great job on it. Allen gets the ball away from Rodriguez. They'll swing it around the team. Back eight seconds on the shot clock. Now coming out high. He gets his man pinned inside. Little jump hook. Oh, that's beautiful. Just beautiful. Great execution. Tracy McGrady on the high pick and roll. He's a great guy. And off Landry's hand. He's played 32 minutes. He averages 37. You can watch Joel Prisbilla. You expected Yao to have more points. Chris Bell's done a pretty good job on the boards. Yeah, the Rockets are going to get the, the, the better end of that matchup every night. Y'all, the premier center in the league, but not big enough, not strong enough to handle the great wall in the low paint. And in the second half, the Rockets doing a little better job down in the paint. Still not enough to make up the edge that the Blazers had in the first half, but the Rockets have found the openings in that defense enough to score. Yao Ming with 20 points and six rebounds, as you saw him One thing the Rockets do is they protect their areas very well. Every player here defensively. You know, Shane Battier was not a number he has done on Brandon Roy today. With help, of course, because you don't do it one-on-one -on -one in this league, but still 11 points for Brandon Roy. Inside of Aldridge, back the other way, and he's fouled. What a nice move by Yao Ming. Got Aldridge pinned on the line, went back the other way. Yao's yeah, too big to let him operate in the paint. If you do, you're going to have to foul him. Aldridge is a nice player and a pretty good defender, but Yao is too big, too tall, and too skilled up. <laughs> Next year, of course, they'll have Greg Oden to throw on Yao Ming. But, you know, in the summer league, Greg Oden had some problems staying in the games. He, he was uh, foul prone in the summer league this year, and I still think that may be a problem for him getting acclimated to the NBA. Yeah, most new guys coming in have to get acclimated to the, the speed and the pace of the, of the NBA game. And they're shooting at 77%. Every team will have a night like this. You just have to try to overcome it by shooting the ball better from the floor. Yao takes it up and in. Yes, sir. When was the last time you saw a seven foot six player make this kind of a move? Watch the move. Oh, Aldridge. <laughs> That's a move that you'd be proud of, Clyde. He, he didn't quite break any ankles, bro, but that was a pretty good move for a seven six guy. What was that piece, piece of clothing that Aldridge left on the court? <laughs> the foul is called on Bonzi Wells. <laughs> It's the fifth foul on Bonzi. Well, they, I, I don't think he knew what the Rockets were doing. He, <laughs> he thought they were going to shoot. He kept hanging, going into the lane thinking he was on Yao Ming. The second foul of the game on Yao, but the points in the game. In the last five home games, Yao has averaged 28 points in those five home games. I know a big deal. You know, people may look at those numbers and say, those are not McGrady like numbers. Tonight's Landry Signature Group Rockets player of the game, Yao Ming, 25 points and seven rebounds. I don't know if he had a block. Yao was so steady. I mean, he was the difference maker in tonight's game. Seven of 11 from the field, 11 of 13. Seasons. The Rockets with a seven game winning streak. And they've won 12 of their last 13. You know what? I think right now, they're feeling pretty good about themselves. But who's going to play for them? He now knows the talent level of each and every player that's on this team. So give him a lot of credit for getting it right before the All-Star break. Tonight, Portland shooting 45%. So the Rockets... Uh...
final score, the Rockets 95, the Blazers 83. Stay right here. Coming up after the break, we'll have complete post-game coverage on Rockets Live.